One of my missionaries came to me some time ago. He was a fine missionary. I asked him, Elder, how can I help you? President, he said, I think I'm losing my testimony. I couldn't believe it. I asked him how that could be possible. He said, for the first time, I have read some anti-Mormon literature. I have some questions, and nobody will answer them for me. I'm confused, and I think I'm losing my testimony. I asked him what his questions were, and he told me. They were the standard anti-church issues, but I wanted a little time to gather material so I could provide meaningful answers for him. So we set up an appointment 10 days later, at which time I told him I would answer every one of his questions. As he started to leave my office, I stopped him. Elder, you've asked me several questions here today, I said. Now I have one for you. How long has it been since you read from the Book of Mormon? His eyes dropped. He looked at the floor for a while. Then he looked at me. It's been a long time, President, he confessed. All right, I said. You've given me my assignment. It's only fair that I now give you yours. I want you to promise me that you'll read from the Book of Mormon for at least one hour every day between now and our next appointment. He agreed that he would do that. Ten days later, he returned to my office, and I was ready. I pulled out my papers to start answering his questions, but he stopped me. President, he said, that isn't going to be necessary. Then he explained, I know that the Book of Mormon is true. I know Joseph Smith is a prophet of God. Well, that's great, I said, but you're going to get the answers to your questions anyway. (laughs) I worked a long time on this, so you just sit there and listen. And so I answered all of those questions. And then I asked, Elder, what have you learned from this? And he said, give the Lord equal time. You engrave that thought in your minds and carry it with you as you walk through this process of mortality. Give the Lord equal time. Give him his due share of your thoughts, your time, your talent, and your attention. There are many demands for your attention and your time is limited by a wide variety of constraints. But as you learn to manage your time, be sure that you give the Lord his portion. Establish a time and a place to study the scriptures on a daily basis, even if it's only for a few minutes at a time. 